What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you guys for joining me. Um, I see my subscribers have really gone up, man, since that last video or the last two videos I did. I think you guys really like that um, the music. You know, I see you guys do a lot of comments on the music. I like it. Keep commenting, man. Good, bad, whatever. You know, I prefer the good ones, though, but, you know. Um, we're at my house today. I invited you guys into my house. I know a lot of you guys, um, you know, ain't gonna subscribe. Whatever. I appreciate the ones that do, and I appreciate the ones that just watch this to see what's going on. But uh, today, I want to go over something that's really, really important, man. And, and, and it can look as bad as this or as good as this, however you want to look at it, all right? So today, I want to go over my helmets, how I picked them, what I think of them. I'm not going to say anything that, you know, I, I'm, I'm a brand lover. It's nothing like that. It's just the comfort for me, the size of my head, the shape of my head, what I like, what I don't like. It is what it is. I researched all my helmets first. I researched just about everything I do before I put my money out there. Our hobby is already expensive enough. Those of us who have those payments, you know, guys that are fortunate enough to not have payments, I mean, things are still expensive. Anything you buy for your Harley or gear to your Harley is going to be expensive. Just the nature of it. But we, we took that hobby on because that's what we wanted. All right, so listen, I'm going to start with this helmet here. This is, I, I'm starting with this one because I think this is probably one of the ones that everybody has laying around somewhere, right? You bought this helmet just because you were going out and you didn't want to get stopped by police and all that. And you just wanted to have something on your head. This is never, ever, ever going to be a DOT, DOT approved helmet. Not this specific one. There are some that are a little bit bigger, have a little more cushion, and are DOT approved. Okay, so real quick, not DOT approved will get you past the cops, but provides little to no protection. I mean, 5, 10 miles an hour, you might get some protection, but other than that, man, I don't trust it. That's just me. I'm sure somebody else believes it. I'm just going to sit that to the side. All right, so the next, the real helmet that I bought and I thought of Harley, Harley, Harley was these two Scorpion Covert helmets. Uh, I bought two because I got a good deal, okay? I was only going to buy one, but I ended up buying two. This one really reminds me of that Stormtrooper look. So I was like, I got to have it. I just got to have it before even trying it on. All right, so anyway, but the helmet comes, it breaks down into three parts, right? That was the biggest thing. I wanted a helmet that I could take out with the Harley and not have to worry about somebody trying to snatch it when I leave it on the bike or something like that and not having somewhere to secure it to. Um, like I said, it breaks down into three parts. This is still approved. These are DOT approved. It's DOT approved without the face mask on it, okay? These face masks are pretty much plastic. Probably provide little to no actual protection maybe abrasions but if you see how easy i just pulled this thing off you know take it for what you want to take it for they come with the, the drop down visor you know i have a couple of different visors um that came with the helmets i got some dark ones some light ones different things like that um the helmet itself is a very clean very sleek looking helmet being that i think i probably went for style before I went for comfort when I bought this helmet. Not to say it's a bad helmet, because I had a few other Scorpion helmets before I bought a Harley, and I love them. I swear by Scorpion and their helmets. They were lightweight, low noise. I mean, it was just, you know, no head bobble. Very good helmet. That was the reason why I went with them. I'd already owned them before, so why not go with them again, right? Um, the helmet will break down in three pieces. You can actually put it in your bag. You can put one side in one saddle bag and then the other two pieces will obviously fit in the other saddle bag. Um, Harley makes a helmet very, very, very similar to this. I do not know what they call it because it slipped my mind, but they have a helmet that looks exactly like this. And I think all of us, we go on Harley's website, we see what they have, we look at the price, we're like, wow. And then, we run over to Amazon, we run over to all these different places, Cycle Gear, all these other places. What do you got that looks like this? Covert is the first thing to show up. It's a nice helmet. The reason why I moved on from it was because um, 
it didn't give me that breathing, that breathability, I'll call it that, because I'd have to break it all the way down to get that breathability. I don't wanna ride like that. It's not my style of riding like that. If I wanna ride, I'm gonna have a full face helmet on, right? That's when these two boys come into play. Um, so I like the helmet, I'd buy it, I'd ride with it, nice highway helmet, but when you're city streets going from, from second gear to first gear, first gear to second gear, back and forth, you ain't even reached third gear yet because you're still playing around in traffic, it's, it'll burn you up, man. It's, 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 it's like you're boiling yourself in these helmets. So going straight from there, I went to this helmet. But we're not going to talk about this helmet yet. I'll get back to that. But then this helmet is the new arrival, okay? This helmet is a modular all right, everybody who I've seen riding Harleys that get on the highway and they do long distance trips, nine times out of 10, they're on a, a modular helmet. And when I say modular, for anybody who doesn't know, that just means the mask opens all the way up. It's still DOT approved with the mask all the way up. You can actually ride like this. Um, but this one is called the LS2 Vortex. This helmet is like, to me, from the La Creme, okay? On the inside of the helmet, I'm not sure if you guys can see it. Being how lightweight it is, that's first of all, because it's all carbon. It's a carbon fiber helmet. It's this new technology, man. This is a bad, bad helmet. Um, online, it's a $400 helmet. You guys see, I never rode with it before. Still got the paper in the helmet. Um, the inside, it reminds me of a Corvette. Any Corvette guys know, there's a color like this and a lot of Corvettes. Um, it's very comfortable. I put my head in the helmet. It has a quick, also it has a, the, uh, like it's, it's the chin strap, but it, it's, it's more than just the normal chin strap because it's metal. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. I apologize for the light. All of this is metal and the clip that it goes into is very, is metal. And that's a big thing for me. I don't like the plastic ones. You, 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 you run the risk of breaking it. You run the risk of it being hot somewhere and it warped. You run the risk of all those different things. And, and it might not even be that comfortable, but the plastic is on the edge of this one, but the insides are metal, okay? Very important to me. Once they said that, I mean, that was one of the good selling points after I read all the reviews and watched the reviews on YouTube and stuff like that. Um, it also comes with a flip down tinted, like little, I call it like a sunshade or something like that. If you guys, you know, some of you guys might ride with shades or not, like me, always my biggest problem was when I would ride with another full face helmet, when I leave the house, I leave in the dark. I leave with a shade on. When I come back home, it might be pitch black. And now I got this on, I can't see anything. So then I have to open up the visor. Then I gotta try and ride like that. Nah, listen, this is definitely for me, the way to go. I don't think you can be it for the money. All right, I know there's a lot of Shuey guys out there. I know there's a lot of HJC guys out there. I know a lot of guys love different brands. As you can tell, I don't love any brand. I go with what's comfortable, what's good for my pocket, what's best bang for the buck. So, that's full carbon. Just put that out there. This is my Bell Race Star full carbon helmet. This is the um, Ace Cafe edition. I love this helmet. This is another very lightweight helmet. I can just, it doesn't matter. It's a very lightweight helmet. I've had this helmet in a while. Um, I used to drag race with this helmet when I was drag racing. So it's a very quiet helmet. All right. So what I want to say when I keep saying quiet helmet is so you guys can hear me. I'm going to start motor vlogging. Okay. I'm going to start doing some vlogging. Like I said, I've, I think I've gained enough subscribers. You guys are watching. Maybe we go hit the road, you know, take a couple turns, go, go to a hangout, you know, different things like that. But this is the most expensive helmet I own, the Bell. Then comes the, um, the LS Vortex. Quick story on the LS Vortex. The LS Vortex is, this helmet is like $400 online, okay? You can go on Amazon, you go all these places, it's still running you $400. 
but but Amazon is running the helmet at $179 if you wait, you know, four weeks for it. Okay, the trick is just order it. Okay, don't think about it. Order for $179, you won't regret it. And mine ended up coming in three days. So I was very surprised. I had all these helmets already, and I'm like, ah, I can't make that left. I can't make a video to show you guys until this one gets in. It came in like two, three days ago, and I've been just waiting to put this, put it all together and make a video for you guys. So I was going to moto vlog with the LS2, but there's a lot of stuff in the way, and I just want to make sure it's, you know, it, my, my camera's going to stay on it, first of all. But if, if that does work out for me, I won't end up using this. I want to test this LS out, make sure it's quiet on the inside before I just throw a sticker and a camera on the Ace Cafe. I know a lot of guys use an expensive helmet for that. Not to say this is not expensive. 400 bucks is very expensive for a helmet. This is more, a little more expensive. This is like $800 helmet. But these were like 200 bucks. I end up getting these from offer up. There was somebody selling the two of them, brand new, never used. Um, and I just ended up buying them together. I think they're like, like I said, 200 bucks in the store. And you can get this old joker here, you know, 50 bucks somewhere, probably 30 bucks on Amazon, you know, but that's up to you guys. I mean, if you, you some guys feel like they're comfortable enough to ride with this style helmet. They don't think anything, you know, of it. Hey, to each his own, brother. I'll still ride with you. You know what I mean? So these are my helmets. This is what I'm going to be using for 2021 uh, and probably therefore after. And if something else comes out, we got this expensive hobby, man. Sometimes you can't just be afraid to throw a few dollars out there. I ain't saying I hurt the bank. This is not something I buy every year. This might not be something I buy every year, but something like this, you know, I take a chance. If they come out with a new one like this and I believe in it that much, I'm gonna take a chance with it. Even though I haven't ridden with it, I still, listen, this $400 is about as light as my $800 helmet, all right guys? So look, if there's anything you want me to go over, anything you want me to you know, talk about that's on my bike or anything like that, hit me up in the comments. You can even go over to my Instagram page. It's the real official Mac, all on word on Instagram. I don't post a lot over there, but I check all my stuff. So you hit me over there, ask me a question, I'll take care of it, man. Um, but until the next time, guys, please like it, share it, subscribe it. Help me out. Like I said, the more you guys comment, the more I want to put out videos and I, I make it happen. But all right, guys, I'll see you there.